the red light there. Was so that too much? Well, no, I said last night. It's okay. <laughs> We're going to miss you too. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so it's a week A, and we did, right? Mm -hmm. It was kind of hard from the beginning to think about all the food that we had to start learning to eat and all the stuff, but. Is that the first time that some of you go to a vegetarian class? Yeah. Yes? Okay. Good. Good. That's a privilege for me. <laughs> okay. We did it. And that was the seventh day diet that we learned. Now when we go to the stores and we see the broccoli and we see the onions or we see the peppers, now we kind of mean something else for us, right? Yes, you know what do for us. Yes, now you can uh, relate them to you and look at them and appreciate more when you see them over there. Before I used to see the celeries and I say, I don't know how people eat that. And when I moved to the United States and I saw all those big leaves, green leaves, they say, how can this American people eat all that bunch of Okay, grass thing, no, leaves, leaves, those big leaves. <laughs> and now I'm looking for the tiny in them myself, like the kale and all that stuff. And that's good. Okay, we can say now at this point, I am a second hand vegetarian. Cow eat grass and I eat cow. That when we came over here, that's how we can feel that like we were just a second hand vegetarian because we were eating the cow and the cow eat all the vegetables. See how healthy and good it looks uh, the cow looks. <laughs> it, they eat a lot of grass that was supposed to be for us. It was like pinatas. Yeah, that one see <laughs> even the pineapple I guess is on the bottom over there and the, by the tail. <laughs> Grapes and everything. They eat everything that they give them. Now when we see that, <coughs> my hope is that when you, we have farms that are here, we have places that have cows, animals, and everything. My hope is that when you see that something like that, you can think of what it is to kill one of those animals so we can have it in our table and eat it. It's a suffering for those little uh, for the, how do you call the little cow? Yeah, yeah. Okay, whatever. <laughs> but see, the mom, it's just like a, like our children, when we have babies, I mean, we hold them and everything, they cannot just hold it like that, but they show their affection to each other. And then this one says, vegetarians have good hearts. The vegetarian resource is something that you can find on the internet. Visit us online, VRG. And they have a good heart, but there's somebody else waiting to eat them. Good. Then the cow, all the cows over there, they're grazing them. <laughs> go vegetarian, go vegetarian, because they know what's coming for them. They don't know what they can imagine. The choice is yours. You have been here for the, uh, eight weeks, and I would like my friend here to read that for me, please. 100 years ago, very few Americans suffered from coronary heart disease, stroke, and cancer. Today, these lifestyle-related illnesses account for the majority of deaths in North America. The good news is that you don't have to become a statistic. By adopting a better diet and wiser lifestyle habits, you can live longer and enjoy a healthier, more productive life. Yet yeah, that's what we will be looking for. To live longer and enjoy a healthier, more productive life. I was talking before when I got here with my friends over there. And we were talking, I was telling them that just today, the other day I heard some news, but I didn't pay too much attention. But today, when I was driving, I heard the news about talking about uh, that they, they just find out that if when an adult person, uh, if you eat three glasses of milk a day, 
you're going to suffer for this and this and that. We're talking really, really bad about all those things. And I say, now they just find that out? I mean, we know. Now we know what all that thing is. But now they are advertising. They knew, but they just advertising those things now. Because milk for adult, it is not good. Not good. That's why we use the which milk? Almond milk. Almond milk and soy milk and any kind of milk that you would like to make with any kind of grain, you can use it. Can you read that? <coughs> can you all read it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. If slaughterhouses had glass walls, everyone would be a vegetarian. I have some, I, I had some pictures I wanted to show you, but then I said, no, I want you to be able and enjoy it. <laughs> it's supposed to not because it, it, it is really sad and bad to see all the things that is happening with the cows, with the, any of the animals, the pigs and anyone that they are, they are killing. So, and really, if you look yourself on the internet, just for cows or meat or whatever, you can look and you can see all the videos. I have a lot of videos just showing how bad they've been treated and how they killed them. It is really bad. Yeah, the other night, I, don't, I guess I told you already, but I was in my office over there, my husband was watching TV in the other place, and just, I was looking for some things like that on um, one of them, they were showing when they were going to kill it, and the children were there and everything. They were going to kill a cow. And I don't know, but I just went crazy and said, No! <laughs> and my husband, he ran. What happened? What happened? I said, No, 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 it's nothing. I said, I'm just watching a video. <laughs> but that was, I mean, if that affects me, it's going to affect anybody else, any children, anybody that can see all the things how they treat the animals, the things that they do. And so, we can eat. Can you believe in the, let, let's compare this. And this is the last night, and we have a lot of time here, right? For this is the last night. And I, I, I wanted to compare this. God created us, and he said, this is what you're going to eat. And the things that he says that we're going to eat, they are beautiful when you see them, when they are growing. And then you get in from the ground, peel it, cook it, and do whatever you want to, and you are not hurting anybody. And you're just living happy, and it's healthy for you, and it's good for you. On the other side, you see the main, main food, the cows and all those animals, they're just beautiful, the same way as the other one looks. There were the grass and everything, all the uh, vegetables, they look nice. And the, cow, the cows, animals, they look nice, beautiful. It's, it's good to see all those cows uh, on the pasture over there, green pasture. But then for you to be able to eat it, you have to kill. And when you see them dead over there, do not look good. When you see the vegetables that you peel and uh, to eat it, they look nice. But when you see the other way that we've been eating the animals, when, to be able to eat it, you have to kill them. And when you see them dead, blood and all that stuff is ugly. So I'd rather come this way and make everything beautiful, make the whole world beautiful, planting seeds and planting vegetables and planting all kinds of stuff. It's always going to be nice. And then it's going to be helping me, and I'm going to be beautiful, just like the vegetables. And then we're going to be dead, just like the cow. <laughs> okay? That's what I wanted. That came to my mind to make that comparison, because it, that's what it is. So think about that every time you sit at the table, to see what is that that you want to be? The beautiful, or just a dead person? Okay? Let's sit next. See, God is love. You probably going to be thinking, this is so hard, and you think it's going to be impossible. 
But Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Do you think that that can be done that way? Amen. Yes. Yes. You just have to trust God that he's going to help you. He created you. So he wants you to be the other way, no this way. So you just believe it and he will be with you, helping you when you see you say, I'm not going to eat my meat because I'm not going to eat it. I'm not going to eat it. It's not good for me, and I was not created to eat that. And you say that, you talk to God, and he will give you the strength not to eat it. And, to, and, and I'm talking about the eating or the cooking class or whatever, but in any problem that you have, you can talk to him, and he will give you the strength for any problem that is in your, in your house and with you. All he do is to show you love, no matter what. No matter if you are a bad person, if you, whatever we do, I mean, he do not make any difference. He loves us the same way. The same way that you love your own child, the one that is really doing things bad over there, like the one that is doing those things at home. You love your child the same way. So that is God. He loves us. So we are the one that separated from him. But he's still there waiting for us to love and to show him how much we love him. Okay? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. That is in John 3.16. That is a verse in the Bible that everybody knows that. Mm -hmm. I think that everybody, no matter from where you're coming from, you always hear that. That the God loved us so much that he gave his only begotten son. And that's how he did it. I love you this much. Do you love me? That's an answer that you can have yourself and think about it. As God is in creation, so he is in redemption. He can be assured that God, we can be assured that God's word is still as powerful today as it is, it, as it was when he created the earth. He, they, he created us, but he's still looking for us. He's still looking for the way to talk to us. And he's anxious. Have you been home without receiving a call from your child for a long time? And you're just anxious to hear from my son, my daughter, my grandchild. And time go by and we never call or whatever. But that's how God is with us. He's always anxious to hear from us. He's there watching or he's just looking for us to look for him. Because it's there to help us in any way that we can be assisted. So, when you took this class, that's what you did. A smart choice. Because here you can learn a lot of things about cooking and a lot of things about how God create you and help you to walk on his way, trying to do the things he wants you to do, especially in eating. So, congratulations. It was a smart choice. And tonight is graduation night. Graduation night. Everybody's going to have an apple on the close. So I just would like for you to remember that if you don't know what to eat, I mean, what is in each food that you want to eat, because that's sometimes hard, just try to remember colors. Don't always eat the same color. Try to eat different colors, and then on those colors, you're going to have the different vitamins that you body need, okay?
So that's something that you can remember the colors and you play always a bit you, you when you have your play ready to eat, try to have over there different colors. That's all you have to worry. Don't worry about, oh, I have to do this one because this one is the vitamin C, this one is the vitamin D, or whatever. No, just have colors. And that's be, that would be good enough. Eat colors every day to stay healthy and fit. So, we're going to... What should we do? <laughs> okay, the, whatever we're going to do now, we're going uh, we're gonna to go after that with the... With a march and everything. No, <laughs> 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 so we have to finish the tonight class, okay? So it's not going to be too long because we are kind of halfway done, but it's going to take a little bit, a little bit of time. So I'm going to leave it like this. Well, let me see something. Okay, I'm just going to leave it with those names over there. If you don't see them, your name, you let me know and we work it out. Because all those names over there are the one that came last week that have been here weeks before. And I'm giving the, the certificate to everyone that missed only two classes. If you miss more than three, we can work it out. But I, those are the names that right now I have. If your name is not there, talk to me because I would like to have you ready to, okay? So now we're going to go with class. And then we work with the graduation in a little while. But tonight we have, oh, first I would like to tell you that I'm giving you three pages of good information, okay? It's a, a vegetarian cook tips for using textured soy granule. And they, that is a dry one that I showed you one day that is kind of a ground meat, but it's very dry that you can buy it at the local store. TV, no, TV, 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 textured vegetable protein. Okay. And then the, the other one is the continuation of the um, health benefits for going vegan. So you have, <coughs> you have a total of 57, 57 health benefits that you can just read them when you are home and then you can, as you read in them, you can remember this class. Okay? And so you won't forget, I put over there, I can do all things to Christ with the which has strengthened me. Now the recipe, we're gonna have this this one that we went to now was done on the first class, the three this is the third class. The third, the third class. So this one was done on the first class, and the creamy stroganoff. And I did a competition of one that was here at that class before. That was Linda back there. She asked me to. She would do it at home, but she would do it at home. No. <laughs> but she likes it, but she want me to repeat it over here. Okay, I did that, and then we have the baked enchiladas and. The, in the simple cheese sauce, that's an easy one. It's the simple cheese sauce is the, uh, on the bottom of the baked enchiladas. That's the cheese that we're gonna use for that enchilada. And the honey carrot cake. <coughs> <coughs> yeah. Okay. Any questions? Everything is very clear if you don't ask. Alright. Or oh, you didn't understand anything. Okay, we're gonna go with a creamy stroganoff. 
That one has a lot of skin, but I'm not sure. Most of the other stuff is over there.
it's all ready. Then heat to serving temperature. Do not boil for the mixture may. So now we're just going to put them in the, in the one of the pans over here so we can make this to get the sauce. It's going to turn into a sauce. ABC. ABC, yeah. yeah. Okay. 